Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the fish who talk with farts. In addition to being an occasional biological necessity, human flatulence has served a variety of uses, including as a way to clear a room, entertain friends, torture a sibling, and tease a child. Pull my finger. But while some humans have elevated farting to an art form, we actually have a video on that, the most famous farter in history, perhaps no species has elevated farting quite so high as the school swimming herring, who use their butt vapors to communicate. Bubbling out of a herring's back end, the fish farts come fast and furious, and as such, scientists have named them fast repetitive tick sounds, or FRTs. Occurring in stereotyped bursts of 7 to 65 pulses, last 0.6 to 7.6 seconds at a time, the high-frequency FRTs are emitted, as with many human farts, in a single continuous burst train rather than intermittent bursts. Believed to be the result of gas expulsion via the anal duct, the fish acquire the gas when they surface to fill their swim bladders and not from digestion, although they can save this air for at least a day and release it when needed. Because of when and how the fish break wind, scientists believe the farts are used to communicate, although they're not clear on what the herring are saying. By experimenting with disturbances and even adding a bit of shark odor to the study, neither of which had any effect on the farting, they concluded that the FRTs are not alarm calls. Likewise, as FRTs were being emitted, but nobody was getting busy, the researcher also discerned that the farts were not involved with mating. However, as herring work together in coordinated groups and even shoal together in the dark, the researchers hypothesized that the FRTs were used as contact calls. They note that this social communication would only make sense if it couldn't be heard by predators who would be wise to the herring's location, and it turns out the frequency of most FRTs at above 2 kHz is outside of the known auditory range of most predatory fishes, although they do note that FRTs are within the range of hearing of marine mammals. In any event, this explanation is plausible and would help explain how herring typically shoal, which is in a grid pattern where the distance between each fish matches the distance that their desired prey will jump away. By emitting noxious gases, which in humans is a long-practiced way of establishing a safe distance between individuals, the fish establish the precise interval between school members for optimal fishing. The intrepid researchers who discovered this miraculous use of posterior expulsions, Ben Wilson, Lawrence Dill, Robert Bat Magnus Wahlberg and Hakan Westerberg were honored with an Ig Nobel Prize in Biology in 2004 for their achievement in science that first makes people laugh and then makes people think. Other noted Ig Nobel Prize winners include a group that discovered that strippers earn more when they are at their peak fertility than otherwise. One can only imagine the significant amount of time they had to spend at strip clubs for science. A group that discovered when people have a strong urge to pee, they consistently make better decisions with certain types of things and worse decisions with others. And of course, Sir Andre Gein, who won an Ig Nobel Prize in 2000 for successfully figuring out a way to levitate a frog using magnets. A decade later, he also also won a real Nobel Prize for groundbreaking experiments regarding the two-dimensional material graphene. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching.